welcome back to my next video guys in this video we will learn about the topic known as atomic theory so the main key concept which will be shared will be the solid sphere model plum pudding model nuclear model planetary model and quantum model and the particular scientist involving in that particular researches and experiment so let's begin now we will study the contribution of John Dalton. He was a British chemist and physicist, proposed the solid sphere model in the early 19th century. He shifted from philosophical ideas to scientific theory, first atomic model based on experimental evidence and quantitative observations paved the way for the development of modern atomic theories. Let's study about the solid sphere model. According to this theory, atoms are tiny balls that can't be broken and all are made of the same material. This theory helped explain how different chemicals mix together and what makes them different. The limitations of this theory are couldn't explain differences in atomic mass within an, within an element, didn't account for the presence of subatomic particles like protons, neutrons and electrons, couldn't explain the behavior of atoms in chemical reactions. Now we will move on to the scientist named J.J. Thomson, English physicist known for his work on the nature of electrons, proposed the plum pudding model of atom in the late 19th century. He discovered electrons as distant particles, shifted understanding from in indivisible atom to subatomic particles, paved the way for further explanation of atomic structure. Now we will study in detail about the plum pudding model of atom. According to this theory, atoms are like plum pudding with tiny positive charges scattered throughout a cloud of negative electrons. This theory helped explain why atoms have a neutral charge overall and why they emit light when they collide with each other. Limitations of this theory are couldn't explain why electrons didn't collapse into the positive sphere failed to predict the distribution and arrangement of electrons, lacked explanation for the nucleus and its positive charge. And the next scientist who comes is Ernest Rutherford. He was a New Zealand-born physicist known for his contribution to nuclear physics, introduced the nuclear model in the early 20th century, first model to propose a central massive nucleus, explain the behavior of a positively charged alpha particle in the Goldwell experiment, laid the groundwork for understanding atomic structure and radioactivity. Now we will study in detail about the nuclear model. According to this theory, atoms have a nucleus with a positive charge and most of the mass surrounded by electrons like that orbit like planets. It explains why particles can pass through or bounce of atoms and uh, it is the basis of our current understanding of nuclear structure. Limitations of this theory are, didn't explain the stability of nucleus against the electrostatic repulsion, lack details about the electron orbits and energy levels, didn't incorporate the principles of quantum mechanics. Now we will discuss the postulates or the achievements led by the scientist known as Niel Bohr. Danish physicist known for his pioneering work in atomic structure proposed the planetary model in the early 20th century, explained atomic spectra with precision, introduced the concept of quantized energy levels, bridged classical mechanics with emerging quantum mechanics. Now we will learn in details about the planetary model. According to this theory, electrons orbit the nucleus of an atom in specific energy levels or shells. This theory helped explain why atoms emit light and why they absorb certain colors of light. It also explained the stability of atoms and why they don't fall apart. Limited to explaining the hydrogen atom couldn't account for the behavior of multi-electron atoms and didn't incorporate the wave-like nature of electrons. Now we will learn about the achievements or the postulates made by the scientist Irwin Storinger. Austrian physicist renowned for his contributions to quantum mechanics proposed the quantum model in 1920s. Quantum mechanics provides a comprehensive understanding of electron behavior. Storinger's model successfully explained 
multi electron atoms quantum mechanics is the foundation of modern atomic theory now we will learn in details about the quantum model according to this theory electrons exist as a probable wave like pattern around the nucleus which is not in a specific orbit but it explains why electrons act as particles and wave and waves it is the foundation of our understanding of atomic structure and widely used in modern physics limitations of this model are mathematical complexity of the model requires advanced mathematics to calculate electron probabilities doesn't provide a simple visual representation of atomic structure and it is the time to test your knowledge of atomic theory which we will do in the next session of this particular series if you like this video